Hey guys, this is Kendall with UAV Objects. I'd like to explain to you today what can happen to you if you're flying an aircraft and running servos on your output side and you attempt to power them using a, a speed controller with a VEC. What can happen is if the speed controller fails for any reason and it's the only thing that's supplying power to the output rail, you're going to lose power to everything, all of your flight controllers. That's why we recommend that you use an external back, back BEC, battery elimination circuit, power the output rail to provide consistent power to all of your servos. That way if your ESC fails, your speed controller fails and you lose power, you still have servos to be able to get yourself down and have control of the control surfaces. Uh, what I'm showing you here is two different servos. The large servo is on the yellow band. Each one of these marks is one millisecond time, so that's equal to your low side of 1,000 uh, microseconds and your 2,000 microseconds. You can see that go from one to two. All right. That's where you see the, the difference in, the, in the, the timing. This is the voltage. Each scale is one volt. So right now we're putting out about two volts, uh, a little over two volts, 2.2. The other, and this is a heavy servo, okay? If I disconnect that servo, you'll see that yellow line go all the way up and match the other loads. The green one, it is a much smaller servo, quite a bit smaller. It's about a 17 gram servo and that's tied to my flaps. And you can see the bandwidth change, not the bandwidth, but the pulse width change. But it run, it's running, not pulling near as much voltage and it's running at uh, one, two, right about 3.2 volts, which is the out signal output on the uh, on the fix hog. All right. So I wanted to make sure if you take a look and we kill the power to this U back, and you have no power whatsoever except for coming from the power module, you will have no control whatsoever. Even though the signal changes, and you see the signals are changing, but there's no movement on the controls because there's no power on the output rail. If I apply power again from the back, you can see now I have control and I can change my control surfaces. This is Kendall with UAB Objects, just sharing a little information.